plan out your Tuesday. Upper 60s this morning, lower 70s this afternoon, still with those scattered showers and storms. And then as we get closer and closer to, dinner, to your dinner hour, that's when we'll dry out with temperatures stopping in the mid 70s. So if you are heading to Lakeshore today, not a great lake day. Uh, waves are around a foot or less, not a great beach day, I should say. But we will be drying out again, heading into our evening hours and stay dry overnight. So partly cloudy conditions, temperatures dipping back into the mid 60s. Now tomorrow, we're going to get a break, so we'll have uh, some downtime between these showers and storms. It's just not going to last for long. Wednesday evening, we'll start to see showers and storms again move in from west to east. These will stay with us in a scattered fashion overnight right into Thursday morning. Thursday morning, I think we get one of our main pushes here, and then we'll, things will be more scattered throughout the latter half of your Thursday. Let's talk severe weather because tomorrow night, if you're more off north and west, we can see some stronger storms. And then this is a potential for Thursday as well. Strong winds, I think, will be a big factor. Of course, we'll have a lot more updates between now and Thursday. So you just got to stay with us uh, for the beginning and middle of the week as we see these showers and storms move in. 84 degrees tomorrow, warming up a bit. 84 on Thursday, still humid as uh, we get the next round of showers and storms Wednesday overnight into Thursday, really late Wednesday into Thursday. Some can linger into Friday, and then we're setting ourselves up for a beautiful weekend. High pressure moves in. We're in the lower to uh, mid-80s for the weekend and start of next week.